Hi there and welcome back to the children of Atlantis. We are alone in space, but not for long anymore. We have the IHI's Star League. They like us very much. We're in a defensive pact with them. We've just gotten the tradition, the federation, and guess what we'll do? We'll invite... No, we'll not invite them to the federation. Hmm, or will we? What worked last time? With a yith. Do you remember? It was bribing. We'll do that again. We'll bribe them with everything we have available. Hi highs, here we go. Come on. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> and there we go. We've bribed them out of their mind. We'll invite them to the Federation. To increase their trust of us by 1.33 each month. Okay, well, but it's about the Federation. It's about two really great people joining each other. Erudite explorers. Defenders of egalitarianism of materialism in space, joining forces. Come on. Do it. Do it. Federation form. Ah, this is the birth of the Federation. We have considered your offer carefully and decided to join the Star Alliance, but that's not a good name. We have so many planets, it's the United Federation of Planets now. That's what it is. And it's open for more. It's open for more people. We have a lot of ships, thanks to the i -Hice. And a lot of armies as well. We are the Federation president right now. And uh, look at that. We will have some Federation fleets coming. Ooh, we have the Federation ship designer coming. Everything is going to be nice. We're going to be able to build a lot here. But um, as for tradition, we'll probably just build the standard designs. This, though, is a little bit a problem. Well, the maintenance cost is increased and that brings us in energy trouble. So the question is, should we, should we kill some of our ships and rebuild them? Or can we bring them to the Federation somehow? The derelict cruisers? No, we'll keep the derelict cruisers. We love our derelict cruisers. Uh, the question is what to do with this. We'll probably keep them because it's such a great investment. We just want to keep them. We can afford it for now. There is something to research that will help us for that. And we'll now build the Federation fleet. But what is that? Some strange things have been seen in the old sun system. Raxicodium Rebus. Until we can learn more about them. Who are they? Let's research. What are they? Yeah, we joined the United Federation of Planets. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, wow, that's so costly, but... <laughs> <coughs> what can you do, right? What can you do? If nothing works, use bribes. Also, uh, that is great for relationships, right? If nothing works, use a bribe. <laughs> Learning a lot here about relationships in, in space and on Earth, right? God. <laughs> All the minerals. Now we've got slight problems here with the great race of Yith. You'll see. They really don't like us anymore because we're rivals with their allies. So we might have to unrival people. 
Oh, look at that. Raxicodium Reavers encountered. We have made first contact with the Raxicodium Reavers, a nomadic civilization. They occupy a number of large space stations in and around the Guhu system that house the bulk of their massive numbers in crowded and squalid conditions. Despite this, or perhaps because of it, they seem to have developed a strong martial culture. Life in the cold void has become second nature to them, and they are very adept at space warfare. There is no Raxicodium central government to speak of. Instead, they are divided into several different factions that vie endlessly with one another for resources and respect. Given their large population and the shipbuilding capability of their stations, this constant infighting is the only thing keeping them from growing into a significant threat to galactic peace. Attempt to contact them. Oh, hi there. You look very voidish. We are the Rexicodium, and we are the favored servants of She of the Void, the all-seeing, ever-knowing, and above all, vengeful supreme being that lords over space. It was she that bade us give up our ancestral planetary home eons ago to take up residence in her eternal domain, the cold depths of space, so that we could hunt unbelievers and appease her through sacrifice. Alas, the doctrinal wars have sapped our strength, and we are now a divided people. Struggling to divine the true path, she would have us walk, yet her favor can be won through the destruction of alien heretics, even at the behest of other heretics. Thus, many of our warriors are willing to fight your battles for a price. The Rexicodium. Interesting, maybe we should uh, talk to them somehow. The Sinrath, the Rexicodium. We couldn't hire we could hire leaders. Good raiding target. We are already enforcing her will by un raiding unbelievers. Until that raid is concluded, we have nothing more to discuss on this topic. And a leader? Yes, our greatest warriors are willing to lead your soldiers into battle. With the support of your energy credits, we will be able to serve her with even greater fervor. You will find that a lifetime of serving she of the void has made our officers both fearless and effective. Aha. Uh -huh. <coughs> a general or an admiral we can, we can hire there. Okay, goodbye. Oh, goodbye. Ooh. Construction project concluded. Diogenes Starbase, very nice. Finished the queue. We're good, we're good. Yeah, there's a lot there's a lot coming. Um we'll have some things here for the defense platforms that will come. We will uh, add a fleet class, a uh, missile class and a gunnery class. Old Sun, the pride of our nation, shall be first. Construction project concluded. Yeah, we don't we don't have the feder um, the defensive pacts anymore, so we'll see how it works. New Atlantis has finished surface construction. Very nice. Uh, now we're clicking away, that cannot be. There we go. Yeah, the naval capacity has been shrinked massively. It's terrible, but unavoidable. Now we must see if we can uh, associate other beings with us. That would be indeed very good. The Galactic Me Go would be the next to somehow get them under our belt. But I think they are all ready, yeah, they, and they're just compact. Hmm. The Ebians. They hate the eye highs. Well then. So we've got to prepare for war now. Still though, we'll first uh, build all the stations we can. 
trading hub of Outer Sneria. Uh, we can trade a little more, it's okay. What else could we go for? Hydrophonics Bay? No, not really. I think that's terrible. Um, this, the Hyperlane Registrar, registrar should be okay. Another day, another scientific breakthrough. Targeted gene expressions, stricter control of RNA and protein production at the cellular level we have targeted gene expressions, improving ourselves at unprecedented speed. And now... What would bring us forward now? Ah, the interstellar campaigns are still there. Ah. What would we like now? The living state would be something, definitely. Synthetic thought patterns would also be pretty great. But I think it's time for the living state. Hmm. No one has that. How about interstellar campaigns? Yeah, that people have that. But first we want the living state here. Max influence from factions plus one. Seems like a trump card that could be played. Uh, we're ignoring our research agreements, how terrible we act. On the other hand, it is wise to get these technologies. It is the chance we have to take over the galaxy, to bring good to the galaxy together with the eye highs. Haneri Station, Fleet Gunnery. Missile. Construction project concluded. Nice, serious starbase. Nice, 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 nice. We'll have more trading hubs. It's okay. And uh, a hyperlane registrar. It's what we go for, it's what we do, it's what we are. And here, we have that as well. Our power grows, hopefully indefinitely. Can you hear the tr drums of war? They are silent now. Hi, hi. It's a joy to meet another curious and intellectual people. Too many prefer to let the mysteries found in the depths of space remain mysteries. We could rival these beings as well. Like the Yug, they hate us already. Neighboring Empire. Okay, the Yug aren't a good choice. The Elder Things. They hate us, so ah, we cannot. We cannot rival them, unfortunately. Construction project concluded. Old Sun Starbase is there. Very good. Everything is growing. Let's have a look at Animoy, by the way. We love our big planet here. Oh, look at that. Everything is so distributed right now. It's crazy. They've built so much without our consent. We'd really love a planetary shield generator here. 
Ah, World Military Academy. It absolutely makes sense to have that thing here. Let's go for it. And there we go. Very soon. More influence. Let's have a look, by the way. The policies and edicts. We have research grants still running. Could encourage political thought. Map the stars. Hmm. Diplomatic grants. I don't know. Farming subsidies. Production targets. Capacity overload. We have these campaigns, like the recycling campaign, the education campaign. The education campaign would be really nice. Uh, recycling campaign. Probably not that much. Healthcare, not that much. Capacity overload could be interesting right now. But not, not really, right? Not really. But that education campaign? Totally our thing. Construction project concluded. Research concluded. Procyon Starbase? Yes, let's give them more, though. These. And the living state. The Empire lives, the Empire breathes. We may make up its body, but it is not for the left hand to know what the right hand is doing. And we can go for a deep space black site. Oh, what is that? A large part of this Starbase has been set aside as a black site that does not officially exist. The entire system is closely monitored from here, while intelligence operatives carefully manipulate local media and social events to the best of their ability. Interesting, though. And now, our passion comes to fruition. Yearning for the secrets of life. Having the opportunity to study the multitudes of life lets us find some common ground for all living beings, the foundational building blocks of life. Fleet. Oh. Construction project concluded. Barnard Star, Alpha Centauri. Ah, Gunnery. Yeah, we need a lot. We need a lot. Construction project concluded. It's coming in. Curator Research Aid. The agreement we signed giving you access to our data banks has run off its course. Would you like to extend it? Another 10 standard years, or do your researchers no longer require the information we offer? Well, we would, of course, like to extend the deal. So that our data banks shall remain available to your scientists. Let's have a look at our how our factions are doing. The Academy. The advancement of science is doing well, and we have a bleeding edge now. It's going forward. The alien friendships are happy that we are in a federation. And the Free Thought Council is just happy. Just happy. Oh, no plants that require food to grow. Well... Then let's go for a large food stockpile. Things are going to be interesting. Gunnery class, missile class. And 
here we go. Fleet class, gunnery class, missile class. G.I. Jothan, for a nation that has embraced science and materialism, yeah, we don't we don't hear you anymore, G.I. Jothan. We've just made view screen off. This is how they do it. Cartel of the Fifth Son. How are you, old friends? They are receptive. Ah, hmm. They still kind of like us because of the trust. The same authority still, though. They're not that convinced anymore. It's going to be maybe dangerous, but maybe not. The eye highs. Well, um, in our small section of space, everything is fine. And we'll see each other in the next episode. Project Thank you for watching and happy gaming to you. Make Thulu guide your dreams.